you so much, Chris, and uh, lovely to chat to you all again. Um, I just want to introduce this session by really acknowledging what Bingo just said there around how sometimes seemingly standard parts of, of worship processes and services and reflections can be really triggering uh, because of the experiences that we've had before now. Um, and in that sense, what we really want to do with this space together, uh, this is about reclaiming what has been denied to us um, as a community. And this is about really naming that uh, Jesus is 100% for us, that absolutely nothing can separate us from the love of God. So if you feel able to have a wee bit of bread and wine or grape juice with you or whatever form, at times I've done this with crackers and, and cordial, whatever you have, um, great. And if not, if, if that does not feel accessible to you, that is absolutely fine. Uh, and I would encourage you to really allow the, the kind of words and the songs that we're going to move through to nourish you um, and, and to really recall that nothing is separating us. Nothing at all is separating us from the love of God. Um, as we move through the slides, there will be certain parts that are underlined. Um, and if you feel able, just in your space where you are, you can say those things out loud and know that we're saying them together. And we're going to start by listening to a song first, um, Instrument of Peace by the Porter's Gate, and then we'll move into the slides together. As God calls all people to the table of forgiveness, peace, and loving fellowship, we affirm an inclusive and open communion table. All are welcome to partake of this sacrament, which celebrates that we are all part of God's family. All who want to join with this unifying meal are invited to do so in the spirit of generosity and love for one another. God seeks to be in communion with us and through Jesus, shows us how to be in communion with each other, to hold open the door and to pull up a chair for everyone and especially for those who have been ostracized or excluded. In this space, there is a place for all of us. We can find ourselves in the midst of broken relationships with ourselves others and the world. Jesus encouraged us to break bread together. To remind us of how through brokenness, he modeled the power and impact of nurturing reconciliation. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. I would invite you to take a piece of bread now um, and to eat it together, knowing that we are all in this together. This is totally available for us. Um, Jesus' love is for us and nothing can separate us from the love of God. Along with the bread, Jesus guides us to take the wine, which nourishes us because it comes from the vine. God wants to hold nothing back from us. Rather, they hold a profound generosity to offer love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and regulation toward us. Christ invites all of us to the communion table of reconciliation. Those of us who believe we are loved and lovable, and those who struggle to accept this. 
those who are sure of God's goodness and those who are unsure, those who are connected to themselves, others and the world, and those who are sitting in the pain of broken relationships. This bread and this wine, this intimacy, this communion is for you. If you want to take the wine together. May we move forward from here, knowing that we have been nourished, included and seen in this space of breathing and communion. May we be sustained to be able to hold open the doors and to pull up the chairs for others who need to find spaces of compassionate breathing, nourishment and communion in our lives as we go from here. And to let the bread and the wine continue to do the nourishing, to let the love of God continue to do uh, the ministry of reconciliation within and around us, we're going to listen to No Outsiders by Rend Collective. Thank you so much for joining together with us in this time of communion and togetherness and nourishment. And now it's over to, back to Chris. Thank you, Jade, for leading us in that beautiful moment to remember that we're not outsiders and that we share a communion together. Now I'd like to invite you to join us in a final prayer led by, led by Jen Newsham. Gracious and loving God, you are our sanctuary. Whoever we are, wherever we are, on our journey of faith, you are our safe space. Thank you for this opportunity today to hear and share experiences and points of view. We appreciate the courage and authenticity shown here. May today's discussions inspire us to imagine a different future for our own church fellowships for all church fellowships, even those still struggling to see your will in creating sanctuary and safe space for all people. You call us to claim ground in your name and we deepen our belief that all church denominations should and will commit to developing safeguarding and safe space policies as a priority so that fellowships flourish and people thrive in their faith and in their congregations. Where we build sanctuary for each other, let this bear witness to the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Grant us grace and courage to work where we find ourselves, to build sanctuary and to create safe space, not just for ourselves, but for those who come after us. We know without doubt that we are part of your bigger picture, your long-term plans. It's an exciting future and we want to be part of it. Bless us all as we leave today and as we continue to seek sanctuary in our churches and our lives. And the people said, Amen. <laughs>